Hello everyone, my name is Nayan Kimure and today I'm going to tell you a story. The topic of the story is Nayan Goes Missing. This story is written by Kartikeya Kimure, illustrated by Samit Shrestha, translated by Mahesh Baudel, and published by Book Art Nepal. Hanuman Toka is a nice place in Kathmandu. Nayan had his home in this place. Nayan was in grade 1. He loved to study with his friends, playing. Every day, Nayan went to school, holding his mother's hand. After school, he read with his books. He returned home holding his mother's hands again. All these were Nan's daily tasks. It was morning time. Nan was moving towards his school holding his mother's hand. Suddenly, he heard people running everywhere shouting, There he comes! There he comes! A big bull was coming. People were running in all directions. In the crowd, Nan lost a hold of his mother's hand. The crowd pushed his mother quite far. Nan was now left alone. He looked everywhere. He felt like crying out, but he did not. Nan walked a few steps ahead. The temple of Kalmaira that stood a little further was something he had seen quite often. Nan reached near to the temple. He bowed to it, as his mother did on other days. However, Nan was alone today. He was quite afraid too. Nan looked left and right. He recognized the places that he had seen while walking with his mothers. Soon he reached the Mahadev temple in Makkam. Here too he bowed as his mother used to. He then saw a brother soldier who was standing on the other side of the temple. He remembered his mother used to take him to the school along the same path. Along the side of the road, Nan walked through a short distance. He also saw an ice cream vendor there. Nan turned left and looked. Very near, he saw a school. Running, he came to the gate of the school. mother was waiting for him, crying. He was amazed to see his son there, finding his way. The mother hugged Nan between her arms. All the teachers who were worried on finding Nan lost congratulated him. Congratulated him. The head teacher said, Nan is a wise boy. He didn't lose his heart at the time of trouble. The school shall give him five story books to such a child as reward. All of Nan's friend crap. Nan was quite happy. His mother was even happier. This book is suitable for reading aloud to children aged 3 to 7 and for self-reading to those above the set age group. Thank you.